Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to Lorelei. We're gonna be doing chapter two in this video. If you haven't seen chapter one, I'll leave a link to that in the description, as well as a link to the playlist. So I'm assuming this is a flashback chapter. It says new girl. Unless it's like our afterlife. No, it's first day of school. My first job. I can do this. First day at the job, not first day at school. But I better <laughs> hurry if I want to catch the bus and get there on time. Okay, so this is continuing the flashback where we got the umbrella from Zeke. Wow, very yellow. By the way, check it out, Lorelai, we match. Wait. Red and black. No, hey! Hey! You were there for like two seconds. Oh, I've definitely been in that scenario Stupid before. Bus. But maybe I can still get there on time if I walk fast enough. I'm going. Way ahead of you. Nobody run me over, please. I'm running against the edge of the screen. Always a dangerous solution. So where we work? She said... She had to wash an old woman, right? And a ghost threatened her. Somebody said that she would die tonight. Turns out they were right. save some time if I cut through this alleyway. I just... Let it be known, I'm not cool with this. I don't want to cut through the alleyway. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! Dude, you can't just park here. Oh, <gasps> Bob, a man with a van. From the cat hey. lady. Move your car, mate. Please. This is him, right? Twat. This is him. This is the guy that kidnapped Susan. Fish. It's a fish. And it stinks. Let's, uh, Ugh. take it. I'm not picking it up with my bare hands. I'm sorry. There's an angry dog over there we gotta get past. Rubbish bin. I can smell it from here. I can smell it from here. Okay, yeah. Oh! <gasps> oh! Teacup? Hey there, kitty cat. What were you doing in that stinking old bin? Cat. Somehow I know this cat is my ticket out of this bloody alley. We gotta... We gotta figure it out. Shoo! <laughs> Don't tell it to shoo. Looks like someone's thrown away some perfectly good veggies. What a waste. What's in there? Cucumber? Why would someone throw away a perfectly good cucumber? I don't know. Do you think that dog is interested in a cucumber? Okay. The way I feel right now, I could probably strangle that stupid dog with it. Don't worry, I'm not competing with you to eat the trash. Okay, we got the plastic bag. We're gonna pick up the fish with it. Okay, so here we go. Piece of paper bag, or plastic bag on fish. We got a little flurry of an arrangement there. Fish. Sure, it's not very fresh, but cats aren't too fussy. Uh, no, they are not. It's just a pile of dirty cardboard boxes. What's in there? There's nothing in them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Use the fish on the cat. Hmm. The cat ate his fish. I that got achieved absolutely nothing. I got a cheeky achievement. It said Did I? Karma plus one. I got a really cheeky achievement just now. It says achieved nothing. You gave the fish to the cat, but nothing was achieved. Well, I got karma plus one, though. Run! Go get that dog! 
It's not doing it. Okay, but like, what if I use the cucumber? Cucumber, use cucumber on dog. Okay! Do you want the cucumber? I should probably put it somewhere the cat won't see straight away. Ah. Uh, hmm. Maybe in the boxes? There's nothing in them. Put the cucumber in the boxes. It's common knowledge that cats are scared of cucumbers. Right? No, that's that's not true. I'll just true. put it here. Right behind him. <laughs> cats are scared of cucumbers? Oh? What's this behind you, mate? We caused a car accident. The dog was eating Bethany! in a second. Examine the bath. I could never take a bath in it again. Not after seeing mom hanging on it. Well, I don't think that's really an option anymore because you're dead. Use it though. Pull out the bath plug. We always gotta do this. Come on. What's in there? Oh, we drained out the water. But what did that do? Puddle. Someone could slip on this wet floor. Hopefully not us. Hair dryer. It's my hair dryer. Take it. It's my hair dryer. What is it doing here? I don't know. Have you looked around and thought about what here is? Do we use it on the puddle? No. What was that? That's not going to work. Okay. Socket. I could plug something in here. Plug in the hair dryer? Not until I really have to. Are we gonna try to electrocute something? Chains. But why? Are we gonna see an eye? The pig. Is that supposed to represent John? No, let's leave. Let's go. We got our hair dryer. I don't know where we're going. Lots of sunflowers out here. I wonder if there's symbolism there. Um. I can't explain why, but I feel like whatever's behind this gate is calling me. It's bloody locked. Of course it is. Oh! It almost fell down. Let's do it again. Pig's head. It's actually a mask. So we have the pig mask. It's just a creepy mask. Okay, so it's not an actual pig head. <laughs> All right. So that did nothing. 
Do we go back now? Do we maybe put the pig mask on to look through the hole in the door and be like, I'm one of you guys, see? Environment has definitely changed. Use. Now it's a disguise, right? Why don't we put on the pig mask before we go out there? Why don't you keep it on? Keep it on for more than two seconds. Okay, well, you don't have to do that then. All right. One thing I'll miss from my old life is my bedroom. What's in there? It looks like me. But I know it's not real. It's all just another dream, right? I think I'll leave it where it is. Hole in the wall. There's a huge hole in the wall. I can see the living room on the other side. Well, let's go there in a second then. Hang on. So we can't go through this way. This is no longer a mirror. Mother's bedroom. I still can't believe she let that evil man into our lives. Desperate times. Make people do desperate things. Bethany's not here. That's probably good. It's empty. I promised I'd keep you safe. Bump in the bed. Mom? Must we? This is not real. None of it can be real. Use. I'm I'm sorry. Do we reattach the head to the headless body? I think we might. It looks like me. But I know it's not real. It's all just another dream, right? Well no, it's not you, it's your mom, I guess. Wait. I guess maybe we don't do that? Hey, look at our, um, Sophia up there, right? Is that, was that their name? Let's go in the hole in the wall. Is this... John? Okay, maybe don't put her head there. Family. We've all got... No head. Okay. So I got. I, I think I'm attaching heads to their bodies. So I've got to look for. Th this is my body, apparently. I'm not sure why I'm wearing. What I'm wearing. We gotta find Mum's head. Maybe she's in the kitchen. But perfect. God. Is she gonna talk? It's our old fridge. Whose head's in there? It's ours. It's me. But I'm still here. Okay. I guess I'll attach my head to myself. Am I gonna talk to me? Where's John's head? Oh, we attached the pig head to John. 
That's what we do, okay. What's he holding? It's a, it looks like a key. He's holding a key, but how do I get it? I can only look at the picture. What the fuck? Left shift to run, run! Is he coming through here? I wanna see him emerge. Maybe it won't happen. Okay, let's just go. We're gonna electrocute him. Okay. Hair dryer on socket. Leave it in the puddle. It's all three of them. Ooh. It's all three of them together. This must be the key to the gate. Well, can't go back in there. Gross. Let's go. <laughs> Let's run. Let's get a move on, Lorelai. <laughs> Look at her jogging. She's booking it. Okay, unlock gate. Could this be my shelter in this strange world? Is this... So this is where... This looks like the, where the Queen of Maggots meets oh. Susan in the Cat Lady. What's this? Dear Lorelai, sadly I couldn't be here Dear tonight. Dear Lorelai, sadly Flashing I couldn't be warning. here tonight to welcome you. But please make yourself at home. The door is open. Last room upstairs is yours. Get some sleep. When you wake up, I'll be here. Okay? Who's that? Painting. What a lonely seashore. That's odd. It feels wet. Either the painting's alive or it's freshly painted. Yeah, look, look at this, the candles. Two candles still lit, one extinguished. These flames seem so fragile. They are. They represent people's lives. As we know from downfall, when you're Agnes, you can snuff on the candles. Fireplace. It almost makes this place look like home. Use it's it. burning nicely. Okay. Rocking chair. Keep going. Game crashed. No. Okay, I've reloaded it. Here we go. Stairs. Squeaky old stairs. Should we use them? I guess so. Last room upstairs. What's in these other rooms? What's this symbol? There's a strange symbol drawn on this door. Locked. I guess this is where I'm supposed to be staying. Looks comfy enough, but it's gonna be hard to sleep with all these mannequins staring. 
The subtitle said staring. Sorry, it's hard for me to move in here. You guys have no idea how tightly I'm squished in here. Maybe I can move the green screen back. Ah, there we go. Okay, now I can, now I can move back if I need to. It's over. My whole life. All my hopes and dreams are dead. I still remember how alive I felt this morning when I stood in front of that house. So out of breath from trying to get down to my... I was that new girl. Oh, here we go. We're going back. Pinecroft. Have we encountered Pinecroft hmm. before? You must be the new girl. You're late. I'm sorry. The bus didn't stop. And then there was this horrible dog and- Excuses, excuses. I'm not interested. It's bad enough that we're short of stuff. You haven't had your training yet. I'm a fast learner. I'll do my best. Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm a fast learner. I'm a fast learner. Well, we'll see if that's true. Can't huh. be that complicated. You need a uniform. You can't walk around here dressed like this. Okay. Go upstairs. Maria's up in the laundry room. She'll help you find it. All right. Who died and made you king of the world? Coat rack. It's for staff and visitors, I think. Well? I don't need anything from there. No, you can put your stuff there. Well, I guess, I guess it's for... You said it's for staff, though. Whatever. Hoover. Vacuum? I hope I don't have to use it. It probably takes hours to hoover this place. Interesting that hoover is used synonymous with vacuum. Like Kleenex for tissue. I've never heard that before. Nobody's told me to hoover. And I really hope they don't. Because it's just a vacuum brand. Although I guess that specific style of vacuum was always a hoover, wasn't it? It looks shabby. Probably been used a lot. I don't know a whole lot about vacuums. I can walk just fine on my own. Okay, I know we're supposed to go upstairs, but I want to check the place out. I can see the main entrance from here. Oh, I see. Okay. So, the place that we're looking at head-on right now, that's where we came from. Alright. Alma. Alma lives here. Alma lives here. Yeah, you want to try that again? Huh? Didn't I tell you to get your uniform? I was looking Upstairs, around. Upstairs? In the laundry? Um, sorry. I got a little lost. On my way now. I just wanted to check the place out first. The Spirit of 43. Oh, so I guess they got a little... What is that? It's like an old, old cartoon. It's an old Disney cartoon. I hope that's okay to have in the game. Ooh, Disney gets really nasty with their copyright protection. I mean, I, oof, I don't know, I don't know. Not gonna question it. 43 though, that's uh, 75 years ago. But, I don't know, might be okay. This is the main staircase leading to second floor. Irene lives here. Joyce. June. I can see another staircase from here. 
Another staircase. The name tag on this door is missing. Shouldn't I be doing something else? I was I tried to use it, sorry. Bathroom. It's the bathroom door. Use it. Why are we in here? Okay. Chlorine tablets. I think these are used for cleaning. By the smell alone, I can tell it's powerful stuff. We're gonna take those? We gotta change our uniform. Staff toilet. <sighs> so this is the staff toilet. Good to know. Use. Toilet paper. It's just some cheap toilet paper. Use. Oh, okay, we we took it with us. And we got some items. You took the entire roll? What if someone's got to use the bathroom? They won't have any... Whatever. What do I care? They're fictional characters. It's the second staircase leading down to the main lounge. Oh, it's got like a service um, chair. Whatever you call those. Huh. Main hall. I can get to the nurse's station from here. Garden door. That garden looks pretty. I shouldn't oh. go frolicking in the garden now. <laughs> I was supposed to get back to the nurse's station in my uniform. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, I just want to, just want to look around. Don't punish me for exploring in an adventure game. They're not. I'm just complaining. What I'm best at. Okay. I can see a laundry room door at the end of it. Okay, this must be it. Are you Maria? Are you? Yeah! It's a YouTube. Oh, bloody hell! It's a YouTube you let's play. You need to give me a heart attack. <laughs> well, oh, she's pleasant. Me. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. So I'm that scary, am I? Let's joke around with her. She seems she seems fun. So I'm that scary, am I? No, not at all. I scare way too easily. I'm just silly like that. Anyway, you must be the new girl. I bet she's evil. Hi, I'm Maria. Maria's and I'm evil. Laura, but everyone calls me Lorelei. Oh, okay. Really? That's a cool name. Nice to meet you, Lorelai. Yeah, it is a cool name. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. Have you been working here long, Maria? I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. Uh, I'm supposed to get my uniform here. Or should we keep up the chatter? Let's keep up the chatter. Have you been working here long, Maria? Well, it will be three years soon. God. Three years in this crumbling old crap hole. It's that bad. <laughs> nah, it's all right. Depends who you work with, really. Like, you can't get on with everyone, can you? <sighs> nope. Not everyone, I guess. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. I'm supposed to get my uniform here. It's right there, on the shelf, waiting for you. The blue one? Yep, same as mine. I'm sorry, that's green, You'll isn't it? You'll get a couple more next week. They've been ordered, but there's some kind of delay. Ugh, I don't know. Okay, it looks green, but it is blue. It's just because of the lighting. Uh, let, let's confide in her. I'm totally out of my comfort zone, to be honest. I've never had a job before, but I really want to do well. You know, I want to prove that I can do this. You'll be fine. I'll look after you. Right. Let's get changed then. I'm suspicious. Okay, you go ahead. I'll meet you downstairs by the nurse's station. I'm suspicious of any friendly character. Oh, one more thing, Lauren. Yes? You met Zoe, the senior carer, right? The one with the big bum and, like, really bad manners? I think so. Yeah. 
Well, don't worry too much about her. She's got her knickers in a twist over many things, but I assure you, none of them is your fault. So, just keep smiling and she'll be all right eventually, yeah? Well, I'll try. Thanks for the heads up. Good. See you in a minute, Lorelei. I'm suspicious of any friendly character in any of this guy's games. I mean, sometimes they pan out, like Agnes or, or Mitzi. Sometimes they're all right, but Zack seems all right. I don't know. I don't know about Zack, to be honest. It's not so bad, is it? Pick it up. Do it. Uh, use? Yeah, yeah, change. Make sure you get changed. Where are you putting your clothes, though? Oh, what's with the socks? <laughs> the socks look a little out of place. It's for hand washing mostly, I think. Wash your hands. I'm sorry, do you have like ring tattoos on your arm? You do, you got like band tattoos. What's that all about? All right, let's go. I like how we keep the rose in our hair. Sheila. Gladys, okay. Well, let's go to the nurse's station. Stop uh, pissing around, get to work. Go to the nurse's station. You took your time, didn't you? Are you always late for everything? Fuck you! I'm oh, sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs> I'm just changing my clothes, like you told me. It won't happen again. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I should really hope so. This is a serious institution. There's no room here for slackers. Well, I guess I should introduce you now. I mean... Girls, we have a new carer with us today. Her name's Laura. Hi. You've already met Maria. That's Nisha. She's from India. Hello, Nisha. And I'm Zoe. I'm one of the senior carers, and I'm in charge in the absence of Mr. B, the manager and the owner of Pinecroft. He's the chap who did your job interview last week, Laura. Yes, I remember him. We must ensure the place is in top shape in case he pops in to check on us. The night staff have already handed over to us and they've gone home. You missed that, Laura. Because you were late. Oh, okay, how many times are we going to bring it up? There are 15 elderly residents living here in Pinecroft. Most of them suffer from advanced dementia and Alzheimer's. Some can be difficult. Some can be aggressive. So I'd like Laura to shadow one of you girls today. Nisha, would you mind showing Laura what to do? Can I do? No, Maria. Nisha's worked here longer than you and- Mr. B asked me to go around with Laura yesterday I promised him I would. But... You don't mind, Nisha, do you? I don't mind. Thanks. You're a star, Nisha. Fine. Whatever. I'll work upstairs with Nisha, then. You two will wash and dress the ladies on the ground floor. Oh, and that new lady who moved in last night into Beryl's old room. Mm. She's yours, too. Hmm. Really? Yes. She's easy. Didn't even move so far, apparently. I'm sure you can manage. You coming, Nisha? <sighs> okay, this lady's not so bad. She's not so bad. I... If I had my grandma or grandpa at one of these places, I'd want someone who took it real seriously in charge of it all. So, you know what? Good on you. 
So I guess you're stuck with me now. Why did you choose to work with me? Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? Come on. No, no, he didn't. Well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. Uh, I guess you're stuck with me now. So, I guess you're stuck with me now. Yeah, I knew this day would suck as soon as I opened my eyes. Oh, come on. What if I'm the best carer ever born and I just don't know it yet? That's what I'm secretly hoping for. I will make you proud. You'll see. Where are those old people? Let's go care for them. Easy girl. It's a 12 hour shift. We'll have plenty of time for caring. Did Mr. B really ask you to mentor me? Why would we ask that? He didn't. Well, I think it's official. Zoe hates me. She is a bit of a bully, I told you earlier. But don't let it upset you. You did the right thing playing it low earlier. Just smile, say sorry, and go on about your business like nothing happened. But we shouldn't really be talking about it here. So what do we do now? So... What do we do now? We should start working, I guess. But first, let me show you a couple of things. This little desk is what we call our nurse's station. Well, yes. That's where we keep care files and stuff. This white door in the middle, that's kitchen. Don't bother talking to Al. He's a good chef, but he drinks too much. Everyone knows that. That's the main lounge. There's another one, but small. You probably went past it earlier. The audio is driving me crazy. Fire extinguisher? <laughs> I know, boring. But you'll be getting your fire training every six months. Triangle of fire and all that. I promise you'll be sick of it. And what's that fancy panel for? That? Oh, it's the alarm bell panel. You see, there's a bell in every room. If someone needs help, they ring it. The display will show you the room number. You silence the bell here, and then you go see what's happening. But... No one ever uses it. Unless by accident. These poor old ladies can't even remember their own names most of the time, let alone something like this. Oh. Yeah. I think we'll start with Marjorie. She's a nice lady. Follow me. Okay. Sure. So that new lady that just appeared, though. That's gonna be the one that tells us she's gonna die. That's kitchen. The store leads to the kitchen. Oh, you say the kitchen? No, it's just kitchen. You know, like hospital. Is that Al? What does his face look like? Okay. I don't know. Maybe he's just maybe he's just a character that got cut in the final version of the game. <laughs> okay. We've already been to the lounge. Okay. Marjorie. Let's uh let's go. Hello, my darling. What a beautiful morning, isn't it? And we have Lorelei with us today. She's a lovely young lady. She's helping us today. Hello. Hello. Is she all right? She probably has dementia or Alzheimer's. Don't say that either. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. That's a very nice room, Marjorie. Lovely flowers. I bet you have a big loving family that thinks about you all the time. As a matter of fact, it was Marjorie's 85th birthday yesterday. Everyone came, didn't they? Even your brother Derek from Australia. <laughs> uh, she's 
just making it up because it doesn't matter. Uh, why is this carpet so badly stained? Why is this carpet so badly stained? Well, some stains just never come off. This one here is blood from when Marjorie tried to get up on her own a few months back. Oh no. The other ones are mostly toileting accidents. I see. It's just one of those things. You'll get used to it after a while. Okay. What now? Now, we get Marjorie washed and dressed. Please uh, take the two flannels from the sink. The white one is for the face. The brown one... You know. That's why it's brown, huh? They look kind of crunchy. Oh. Okay. All right, yeah. Now fill up the sink with hot water. Okay. I wouldn't mind having a sink in my room. Is it going to steam up a message in the mirror? There's a puzzle in the cat you have to do by solving that. She hasn't even got a toothbrush. She doesn't need one. She hasn't got teeth, Lorelei. I think you still have to brush. Done. I think it's still a good idea to brush even if you don't have teeth. I might be wrong on that. Marjorie, my darling. You brush your gums. It's time for your wash. Give us a hand, would you? She can't walk on her own. When's she gonna tell me that I'm gonna die today? Marjorie's clothes are kept in there. Let's use the wardrobe. Shall we get some clothes for Marjorie? Oh, we can do that in a minute. All right, fine. Okay, here we go. So still. Almost like a wax figure. I wonder what she's thinking right now. <sighs> Good question. And now we just need to get that nightie off. It felt... wet. Yeah. The night staff only put a small pad on her. Oh, they should have known better. Anyway, shall we? This is depressing. Uh. So still. Yeah, okay. Marjorie, could you lift up your arms for us, please? All right. You're doing really well so far, Lorelei. But now comes the tricky part. Which is? We have to wash her. Now, some people struggle at first. I'll do it if it's too much too soon. But you are welcome to try. It's up to you. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Brilliant. I got, <laughs> I got an achievement. It says, I'll do it. I guess that was a choice. I don't see you doing it, Lorelai. Oh, I gotta make, I gotta, I gotta do it. I'll just have a little stretch on the bed. Maybe you could go wash someone else right now, Maria. Uh, I guess I'm shadowing. And pretend it doesn't smell of wheat. Yeah, I wouldn't Am want I to lie in the bed. Doing it right, Maria. Yeah. You know. Marjorie used to be just like you and me. Young and pretty, full of life. At 17, she fell in love with George and they were married for 50 years. Can you imagine 50? My grandparents were married for 60 years. I couldn't even last two with my hubby. But George, Bless his soul, was a kind and gentle man. He'd never hit his wife. God, it broke her heart when he died. But anyway, she was just a little girl when the war started. And she saw it, you know? Bombs falling on London. The city on fire.
God, I think I dozed off. That's a comfy bed you've got here, Mudge. Finished. I suppose we should find some clothes now? Yeah. Open the wardrobe and find something you like. Okay. We're not dressing her up in that. Let's give her... Let's give her this. Comfortable, you know? I don't know. Oh, very classy, Marjorie. Got a meeting with a corporate client today. Wait, Lorelei. I'll help you with this. Thank you. <gasps> Marjorie. You look absolutely beautiful. Let's take you to the lounge so everyone can admire this smashing outfit. All right, we've got one ready for the day. Now we can go to Dorothy. She's only next door to Marjorie where we've just been. Or we can try Alma. Her room's just past the nurse's station. Your call. This, this is a big choice. Sorry guys, this is driving me nuts with the audio clips cutting off at the last second. It happened to me when I played uh, Downfall 2. I'm gonna see if there's anything on the Steam forums about it. All right, I'm back. Uh, it's a known bug and they're working on fixing it. All right, let's see if we can go see Dorothy next or Alma. I don't really have a preference. Let's just go see Dorothy. Let's go see Dorothy next. Okie doke. Let's yeah, it's, go. It's annoying. I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do about it. What's she thinking about, I wonder? Let's use. What's up, Marjorie? Nothing. Okay, Dorothy. So dark in here. Oh, Dorothy likes her sleep. She could stay in bed all day. 95th birthday? That's one thing we have in common, Dorothy and me. Because otherwise, she's a grumpy old hag, especially first thing in the morning. Hello, Dorothy. Rise and shine. Come on now. I know you're awake. <laughs> now, that's very rude, sweetheart. Come on, lovely. Up we go. Richard! Richard! Maybe we Where should, are you? Maybe we should have found Alma. Oh, you... Boogers! Ready to have an awesome day? <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy, we need to find you a hairbrush. Ready to have an awesome day? She'll respond well to that. Ready to have an awesome day? No, no response to that, okay. Job done. Alma's huh. up next. I'll meet you outside her room. Dorothy looks mad. <laughs> Look at her. She's pissed. Wait, where's where's Alma? I'm sorry. She she's she's downstairs, isn't she? Okay. Yeah, she's this way. Oh right here, yeah. She's on the floor. Alma! What in God's name are you doing on the floor? Are you okay? I'm fine, dear. Come on the other side and give me a hand, Lorelei. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not sure about that voice acting, but all right. 
Lucky lady, not a scratch on you. But... God, I'm going to feel all that lifting in my back for a week. So thanks for that, Alma. She's heavier than she looks. Maybe don't say that. It's not her fault. We're young and strong. We'll be fine. We're young and strong. We'll be fine. <laughs> I like your attitude, girl. But now we have all this mess on the floor to clean up. What is it, anyway? I don't know. Uh... But I'll have a look. Is that a... Squatty potty thing? Chair potty? Looks like... A letter. It's a very old letter. A whole bunch of them, actually. Oh, no. Read the letter. Leave it alone. Oh, I mean, I can... I can read from some of the scraps. I think it's pretty obvious what it is. Let's leave it alone. You know, I... I don't want to read it. Yeah. It's her private stuff, isn't it? That she ripped oh, up. Well, she wiped her bum with it, so it's probably nothing important. Mm. Come on, Alma. Let's get you ready before someone takes your favorite garden view seat. Right. Now it's time for a coffee break. What? So soon? <laughs> what do you mean soon? It's half past ten already. Really? Time flies when you're having fun. I'll put the kettle on. But before we go, can you take the dirty laundry upstairs and chuck it in the wash? Yeah. I've left the laundry bag by the nurse's station. Okay, I'll go do that, I guess. Laundry bag. Take it upstairs to the... Right? Uh, okay. Laundry room. That's where the dirty laundry goes. Okay, so use the laundry bed on, on the washing machine. Yeah. Mr. B just called. He won't be coming in today. Oh, okay. He'd crashed his car this morning. Apparently, some dog chasing a cat ran out in front of it, and he drove into a lamppost to avoid running them over. Then I thought you mentioned a dog earlier. I did. You wouldn't have anything to do with this, would you? I mean, not on purpose. Sorry, I meant frog. Don't don't say it was a black dog. That's more information. Oh, come on. What are the chances? Don't be ridiculous. I feel like you'd blame me for anything at this point. Don't don't get in the fights right now. Really unfair, you know. You're not the boss here, and I will keep this job whether you like it or not. Just say I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best here, so please stop picking on me. But Laura, I'm just trying to teach you some respect. Okay, well thank you, Sensei. <laughs> but I've already learned that. Now I want to learn how to be a care assistant. Fine. If you feel like I lack res respect, I will try harder now. You should give respect to get respect. Ever heard about that before? Let's go with, uh... I will try harder. Fine. If you feel like I lack respect, I'll try harder now. Having this job is important to me. I will do anything to keep it. In that case, go and make us all a cup of tea. Oh. 
Maria's already on it. Go on, then. Or I'll be down shortly. Oh, I'd ask her to put plenty of milk in it. She always forgets. Milk tea, huh? Well, I usually have tea with water in it. So, I mean, <laughs> I think it's natural to forget to put milk in it. Is it just me? I know everybody likes different types of tea. I only have tea if I have a sore throat. That's the only time I ever have tea. How? Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Hello there. All right, some people are up for the day. Okay, so... Hi, Maria. All right. The red mug is yours. Mmm, it smells lovely. Oh, I met Zoe upstairs. She asked for a cup of tea as well. Yeah, I made it. I always make it. The yellow mug is Zoe's. Did you put plenty of milk in? Yes. Looks almost black to me. Ugh, I don't know. I don't drink tea. You know, we don't want to piss her off more, so... You go ahead. I'll get more milk from the kitchen and join you in a minute. Oh, you're a gem. Thanks! We're going to talk to Al, Wait, aren't we? Wait, what about Nisha? Oh, Nisha drinks water. She's alright. <laughs> what? I feel like Nisha might as well not even be here. Fridge. That's a big fridge. Yeah, it's very tall. Uh, we got onions, an apple just sitting in the fridge. You shouldn't put apples in the fridge. Tomatoes, mustard, laxative. Wait, can we choose laxative or milk? Semi skimmed. Seems about right. I don't think Zoe should be using the full fat one. There we go. All right. Well, <laughs> wait a second. Here it comes. What's this? She's get, she just got there. <laughs> she just got there. No, I couldn't. Don't give her the laxative. She's not that bad. She's kind of annoying, but she's she just takes the job really seriously. And she she backed off a little bit when we said we would we were going to try. I guess we're never going to talk to Owl I, at some point maybe. I don't know. Okay. Uh yellow mug. So just uh, put some milk in there. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I bet that's why we took the toilet paper. I bet Ugh. you. I bet you give her the laxative. And then you take the toilet paper. Oh, that's evil. I mean, this series has some really awful characters in it that I really just hate. John, for example. Re a tickle from uh, Cat Lady. A couple others, but um, yeah, she's not one of them so far. She's not really, not really getting me. Okay. I feel like I've really earned this mug of coffee. Wait, I thought it was tea. I got an achievement. Mmm, coffee. Okay. Chlorine tablets. Soluble cleaning tablets. Powerful stuff. What are we going to use those for anyway? All right. Uh, oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't know we were moving. Ah. <laughs> Sunshine! <laughs> okay. Yay! Praise the sun. Dark what? Souls? Uh, it's from a... It's from oh, a, never mind. It's from a video game, you nerd. Do you, you want one? You could sit too. Nah, I'm good. No thanks. I don't smoke. Oh, fair enough. I'd go on a killing spree without my fags, I think. She's talking about cigarettes. everywhere. Really? You don't seem anything like that. Yeah, but that's what the Brits call this cigarettes. This job can be so bloody stressful sometimes. Like, you have no idea. I'd go 
mental. I can't understand. Oh, go on. Have one. It's not going to kill you. I mean, actually, you know what? We already die. Let's do it. Well, okay. What are we going to do? Get I'll lung cancer after we're dead? I think all it three... It makes my head spin. Oh, it's not that bad. Come on. The first one always. All three main characters, they, uh... So... Why do you want to work here, of all places? They all have a cigarette in the games. I also got an achievement for that called First Cigarette. Um, let's see. I couldn't afford to go to college. I love old people. Because I love old people? <laughs> Nobody else wanted me. Well, let's go with that. Nobody else wanted... <sighs> oh, come on. I mean... I've applied for like 20 different jobs. But only this one got back to me. I'll be honest with you. I never dreamed to be a care assistant, but I can't stay at home anymore. The sooner I move out, the better. And for that, I need money. Oh, so you can like rent a place. As long as I'm out of there. One-way ticket to New York. They always want to go to New York or L.A. You know, there's more cities in the world. Why not go to, like, Grand Rapids or Memphis or... I don't know. Uh... Thinking more of... Let's see. Uh, as long as I'm out of there. Yeah. As long as I'm out of there. Denver... I mean, Sounds like your family is pretty fucked up. Portland. It's mostly my stepdad. He's Seattle. just a big bag of shite. Has he... I'd never let him. God, I'd rather die. <laughs> but, She's like... But you know, it'll be okay. She's like, that's not what I was gonna ask. You'll stand on your own two feet and none of that will matter. And in the meantime, if you need a friend... I suppose you've got plenty of friends already. You're being awfully friendly, Missy. All my friends from school just moved on. There's Zach who lives next door. Well, there's Zach who lives next door. He's a geek, all right. But he's kind of cool. He waited for me this morning just to give me an umbrella. Zack? Is he American? Nah. He just likes to be called Zack for some reason. You know, I will go out with him if he ever asks, of course. I don't know about that. I mean, we did kind of get him killed, I guess, because he said he would do anything for us. But... Yeah. I think he likes me more than I like him. The problem is, I think he likes me more than I like him. He'd almost asked me out to, but he chickened out at the last moment, I think. Sounds like a decent bloke. Give him a chance. I don't know, Maybe though. Maybe I should. I don't know him. I don't know. I don't like this thing about like, ooh, why don't you date this stranger? Anybody can put up an act for, like, a couple minutes at a time. All my friends from school just moved on. All my friends from school just moved on. Too real. Even my best mate, Carrie. She still texts me once a month, but she never comes over anymore. It's called being an adult. Sorry. It's fine, though. She's got enough going on. You should try internet. It's what I do. I'm in this group and we talk about kids mostly. What? I can't go on the internet. What? My mom won't pay for the Wi-Fi. 
Wait. Did you say you got kids? Yeah, I got two boys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was only 17 when I had Kieran. You talk about your Sam, kids. Only two years later. You married then? No. Okay. I guess I'll <laughs> drop it. We should be friends. I agree. Unless... <laughs> Unless you'd rather be friends with Zoe. Oh, can't think of anything I'd like more. We do have this special connection, me and her. Well, we do have this special connection, me and her. Oh, I know it. You should have seen us in the laundry room earlier. She was like, yay, you're so great, Laura. Let's be best friends. Really? No. <laughs> she was horrible. She wasn't that bad. Oh, she's just insecure. I told you. Well, I won't let her bully me. She's not really even bullying me She'll give it much. up soon. <laughs> Once you get to know her. Listen. I'm the first person to, so bad. to get pissed we'll off see. at fictional characters. We should probably get back now. But it's she's time to see that new lady. Not that bad. Okay. I'll meet you outside her room. It's upstairs. What's her name? Oh, um... Retta, I think. Yeah, I remember someone's mentioned she was an artist. And she's got some creepy ass paintings in her room. Oh, she's. But she's new, so she hasn't got a name tag yet. She's the Just one. Just look that for the door with no name tag on it. Tells me I'm gonna die. Oh, she's gonna tell me. Greta! Is that a name from a previous game or. Cool. We can sit here. Cozy. Yeah. I mean, it's not that cozy. Okay. All right, so... Okay. Upstairs. Door with no name tag. Right, yeah. Let's freaking do this, dude! Greta. Okay, yeah, it's the one with no name tag. Greta. These are great. Um, hello? Get it out. I must get it out. Lorelei? What the? What is going on with her? Get it out. I must get it out. Hmm. What's she talking about? Well, this is it. Rest in peace, my love. Come on. Let's go, girls. Laura, you stay. Okay. Look, in a place like this, you see people die. Sometimes a year goes by and they're all fine. And then you suddenly get three dead in one week. You never really get used to it, but it's something you have to accept if you want to work here. And most of all, 
Don't blame yourself. Aww, see, she's not it so bad. It's Greta's time to go. That's all it is. She's comforting the new girl. You uh, think you're gonna be all right, me? Aww. See. Hope none of you guys are raging in the comments right now. Ah, oh, Zoe's such a bitch. Yeah. You look like a fool. A fool! <laughs> so now you actually pretend that you care? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. I'm glad I didn't put laxative in your tea. Okay. Let's go then. There's still lots to do. Who's the old woman who says that... I'm gonna die? You sure you'll be okay? Yeah. Did she like... I'll be fine. Let's just keep busy. What's next to do? Oh, there's like a million things. But first... Do you play chess? Oh, okay, okay, with the, with the people. Not with you. Congratulations. <laughs> I like that. Thumbs up. Okay, so we worked there a while. I forgot. For some reason, I thought this was all taking place in one day. Maybe it is. I feel like the montage. Do you see the lightning? It's gonna rain in a minute. Well, that's just bloody fantastic, isn't it? Is it all one day? And another one. Oh, come on. My back is aching. I just want to go home now. Is there anything left to do? Nah. They're all in bed now. We'll just hang around the nurse's station trying to look busy and wait for the night staff. Let's go then. It's getting chilly out here. Is your back aching because of the storm? Hmm. Wait, spray bottle. It must have been used for spraying plants and flowers. Use. We still got the chlorine tablets and the toilet paper. Maybe we should put the toilet paper back. <laughs> oh yeah, nurse's station. Do you hear that? No. no. Exactly. Nice and quiet. At last. I mean, it was quiet all day. Oh, bloody hell. They're not exactly a talkative bunch. Why did I bunch. say that? What is it? It's the bell alarm. Someone just pressed it by mistake. It happens. Can you check the panel for me? Yeah. Just give it a I... whack. It'll silence it. Zoe will go mental if I break it. Which room is it? It says 11. Room 11.
room 11? Huh? Yeah, why? Whose is, room is it? Is that Greta's room? Are you sure it's 11? It's Greta's room. Well, yes, absolutely. Come on. Who lives in that room? Greta. The call is coming from the inside the house. Lady. But who was phone? Shit. What are those maggots? Are these maggots. Ugh. Oh, I hate maggots. Well. But we still need to get in there and switch the bell off. We're the queen of maggots. Where's Zoe? She's doing the meds now. And when Zoe's doing the meds, it's generally best not to talk to her. Why is Greta's body still there anyway? Oh, they'll take it later tonight. Right. Then... It's been a let's while. Let's find a way to get rid of these... things. Oh yeah, I got- oh, I got away. Chlorine tablets. That's not it. Oh, okay. Spray bottle combined with the chlorine tablets. There's no water in the bottle. Oh, we gotta get water in the bathroom. Hang on. Alright. Sink. Oh. Do we use the sink? We gotta get water for it. Maybe in the kitchen? Maybe we go to the kitchen to get water. Yeah. That's what we do. What uh Wait. The cook is on fire. Oh brother. Come on, there's a sink over there. Maybe Maybe we go to someone's room? Let's go to Marjorie's room. She won't notice or care. Or no. Use on sink. Yeah. Wow, someone's snoring. <laughs> Combine with the spray bottle. The smell alone makes my eyes sting. Well, we gotta get rid of those maggots. Okay, what we got? We got spray bottle? This chemical solution is way too strong. It makes my... It makes my eyes sting, we know. Okay, let's go spray those maggots. Yes! Do we use the toilet paper? Maybe like, spray it on the toilet paper? Or maybe just spray it directly? Get him! They didn't like that, did they? Horrible little buggers. Yeah. So, we're going in? No, no, no. You know me, I get scared of my own shadow. Maria, I don't want to do this on my own. There's no way I'm going in there. Sorry, Lorelei. Fine. I'll go and turn off the bell. But you owe me. Oh uh, shit. Okay. Okay. It's just a body. No need to be scared. Hey! Turn that buzzer off and we'll let you out! What do you mean you'll let me out? It's just the light. But where's the bloody button that turns it off? No, oh, brother. Is it in her hand? What a storm. After such a beautiful sunny day. Yes? It's proper raining now. <sighs> is it cold? Where is that bloody... She 
has it in her hand? But how did she manage to grab the spell? Oh, brother. Achievement, first kiss. <laughs> Just kidding, that didn't happen. <laughs> the lights off. Not in the way you think. Maria, I'm surprised at you. This was a prank. <laughs> well, what do you think it was? Dead people don't ring their bells, do they? But we rang the bells, silly. Not Greta. <laughs> you really believed it was her, didn't you? <laughs> That was precious. You said you scare easily, and then you pull off something like this. She's not what she says she is. <laughs> like I'm gonna be scared of one dead lady. I've seen a hundred of them. They don't bother me no more. But she... Oh, for God's sake, it's just a body. It's not like it's gonna grab you and eat your brains or something. So it... Didn't move? Of course it didn't. It's just lying there like a sack of potatoes. You filmed me? I want to see the video. <laughs> yeah, so? You can't do that. <laughs> Look, we always do that to new staff. <laughs> it's funny. Get over it. This wasn't funny, Maria. I thought we were friends. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. It was just a joke, for fuck's sake! Hmm. Yelling pretty loud there, Maria. Hmm. Well, I'm glad you're all right, Mr. B. But you shouldn't have worried. Except for Greta, sadly, passing away. Well, everything's been hunky-dory. Oh, and that new girl, Laura. Or is it 
Lorelei. Yeah, she's done all right. Still a little rough around the edges. But I think we could make a good carer out of her. Aww. Isn't that nice? Too bad she's gonna die tonight. None of it matters. And now Choose it's time. Now it's time to walk home. But didn't we hitch a ride in a car? We got in a car. We came out in a car in the intro, didn't we? Oh wait, I got an achievement. New girl. I guess it's the end of chapter two, right? And here I am now. <sighs> Chapter three. All right, well, I think that's gonna have to wait for our next video, A Lonely Seashore. All right, guys. Oh, it's still flickering. All right, guys, um, hang on. All right, guys, um, well, that does it for today's video for chapter two, loaded chapter, uh, longer than I was expecting. Um, I'll try to get, you know, the subsequent parts of the series up as fast as I can, but it's just hard with my schedule that I've worked out and how long these videos are going to have to be, apparently. Um, but I've been, I've been enjoying it. I've been getting into it. So uh, if you've been enjoying um, the series so far, if you like this video, please make sure you um, like and comment on the video. I never ask for that, uh, but it just, it helps. <laughs> it helps because nothing's worse than, like, at least for, for my channel, than, than going in on a series knowing that, like, it's not going to do as well as, like, my self-contained one-shot content and then seeing, like, there's just fewer people that are into it in general. It's just... So I like to... You know, if you're out there and you're enjoying it, please just let me know. Um, And I'll see you guys in the next video. I don't know when it's going to be posted. I'm tired of making promises of when things are going to be posted. It's just... It's going to be up soon and just trust that I'm working on it. Uh, I'll see you guys then. If you want to follow along with the series, um, there's a playlist link in the description, of course. And uh, if part three is up, there'll be an annotation at the end of the video. Um, so look for that. And if it's not, then it'll be up soon. I'll see you guys then. Think critically.